Well, let's get started with some demonstrations. Anything that burns needs what from the air? It needs something from the air, yes? Oxygen. It consumes oxygen from the air, correct. Did you see that? Did you see that? That was what happened. The balloon sucked in because the fire was hot. Now you're getting close. And while we're pulling, we're getting another partial vacuum in there because the air inside is trying to expand. There's less pressure in the bottle than there is in the atmosphere. The atmospheric pressure is now pushing down on that water balloon. Hi, my name is Mr. McLaren. What's your name? Celeste. No, I want you to say it just like that. Celeste. Now, do you think that'll be a little bit better? One, two, three, go. So put up your hand if you're feeling brave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, good and strong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turns your voice into an electronic signal. The signal is sent into a computer. You must fly right to me. There you say that's what an alien would sound like, right? All right, everybody, thanks to Holdren. Thank you, sir. Ready to see some more science and toys? Yeah! Screaming rocket balloons. This compressed air is stored energy. And when we release it just right, it's going to come shooting out the bottom of the rocket. The air makes the nozzle vibrate. And when things vibrate, they make a noise. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Something we haven't talked about at all, like uh, chemistry. Go ahead and shake that can. Does it sound like a solid, a liquid, or a gas? But when you squirt the silly string can, out comes a... It's a sound. That's right. It has changed its state of matter. Go! Ah! Okay, everybody, do you think we ought to meet again someday and do another